and this heat will feature Faber Ophili, the sophomore from LSU and Nigeria. She is the collegiate record holder in the 200 meters and also has a lifetime best set this year of 1093. Yes, Faber Ophili, as you said, the sophomore from what LSU. Yes, sorry, she's also one of the 200. She's got the second fastest time in the world style. at that distance. But in this 100 meter dash, she is the SEC champion. Oh, my, she, my. I would say dethroned, but what she upset Abby Snyder there in both the 100 and the 200 meter dash. Right on her left in lane four from Oregon, the senior Kemba Nelson from Jamaica. Exactly, Kemba Nelson, and she did the hat trick at the Pac-12 Championships, winning the 100, the 200, and the 4 by 100 And she was fourth in this event last year, so you know Kemba's coming here on a mission to win or, this, uh, or get an opportunity to win the 100-meter dash in the final. So she's got a puncher ticket today. We'll see if she can get it. Also not to be discounted out in lane six, Solera Barnes of USC. She certainly can make some noise. 11.07 is her lifetime best set this year. Uh, this track tends to produce some great times. Ophelia also has a teammate in this semifinal in Simone Mason. An important race for the LSU Tigers. Oh yeah. Don't forget about Kennedy Flanagan. They're on the inside in lane one. She's more of a 200 meter specialist, but um, you know, she's got, uh, she's a back-to-back -back Big 12 outdoor 200 meter champion, uh, and she was fourth in the 100 meter dash at the Big 12 champ, so she also has an opportunity to make some noise today. And Robert Kennedy Flannel, very significant too to Texas's team hopes of trying to achieve that championship from the perspective of a team title as well, so getting significant points should she be able to advance would be a boost for them. Oh, yeah, no doubt. Every point matters. So if she can find a way to sneak into that final, I know her coach will be very happy. Right now, the bubble time is 11.16. If you aren't first or second in this final heat, you've got to be under 11.16 if you want to advance to Saturday's final. Once again, Kevin Nelson of Oregon in four, and Faber Ophelia of LSU in five. Nelson with a good start. A little left on the box. Solera Barnes also running well. It is Kemba Nelson. The crowd loves it. Kemba Nelson. And who's going to get second? It looks like in lane seven, Joella Lloyd of Tennessee came up. Never even mentioned her. Nelson running 1097 with a .4 meter per second trailing win. It was Faber Ophelia who ended up getting second by 1-100 over Joella Lloyd. Lloyd should advance on time. All right, you'll see it, right? We talked about Kemba Nelson. She got out the blocks quick, but then you see that three quartet there right there. They're all trying to lean and make it at that second spot in favor of Ophelia. Just comes away by 1-100 of a second, getting that automatic qualifying spot into the final. Kemba Nelson, the Oregon senior, and she came in with tons of motivation, was significant on their 4x1 to start out the day, and that really set the tone for what the Ducks want to do. She's a veteran. Final opportunity potentially for her to compete on this track, so wanting to make sure see, she secures comfortably so to advance for an opportunity to potentially win a championship on her home track on Saturday. It's a lifetime best for Kemba Nelson and a large season best. It took 11-11 to get into this final, but look at all of those sub 11 times Woo. here all but three all but three went under 11 seconds to get into saturday's final so the hunters are behind us now we're going to go to the one lapper the 400 meter semifinals will be